learning is growth for me because you have to keep learning, but in order to continue to grow, to change, and the world is changing around us. I love the expression that you never step in the same river twice, that as you are applying your learning in the world, you're going to need to continue to learn, to develop and respond to the changes that you see around you, to the world around you. And I think that it's also growth is exciting. And so having this opportunity to learn and to grow really matters for everyone. I taught middle school students for a while and I they grew so much physically during a year. And I used to laugh about thinking about how do they know they're growing. If you put your hand on top of your head when you're growing an inch a month, you don't notice it. So looking for the ways in which you can show learning and help people reflect on that, I think is really important. Learning is just such an exciting part of being human and part of being alive that uh, I hope that we all continue to grow and to learn. We live in a world that's changing incredibly rapidly. Uh, It's also an increasingly interconnected world. And so if we're not continuing to learn, then we're not able to really bring our best selves to the challenges that we're trying to face, to the world that needs our solutions. So I think as we continue to focus on developing students as lifelong learners, I want them to see that their learning doesn't stop. Neither does their growth. They need to continue to learn and to grow. Well, I recently started a podcast, the Creative Educator Podcast, and um, everything about it was new to me. I've been a huge fan of radio my whole life, so familiar with audio as a listener, but not as a creator. And so I I took a class to learn about podcasts online. Um, I experimented. I t- tried out some uh, podcast episodes with my family that were never going to go live, but just to practice learning and interviewing and to get the rhythm and learn the equipment and all of that. Um, but it's been really exciting. And I think it's been wonderful to start to find a community of learners. So I've connected with other podcasters to find out, okay, how do you solve this problem? Or what do you do when this happens? Um, What are you thinking about? What's worked really well for you in your podcasts? So it's something that I'm absolutely still learning, but I've loved the chance to do it at all, but also to do it publicly. And I think that's something that's really important is to take that risk to be visible about your learning and vulnerable as you're learning. So I've loved that.